Hello and welcome. My name is Phil Horn, Top Chef at High Fresh, and today I'm going to show you how to cook the beautiful tilapia fish fillets. Now, my mum used to cook this for me when I was a lot younger, so it has a real nice little bit of a special meaning to me, this dish. It's not quite the same as how my mum used to do, sorry mum, but um, it's really cool to be able to come back across this fish. Uh, it really shows a little part of my childhood um, and certainly reminds me of my mum and, and how she used to feed me when I was a kid. So we've got here the beautiful tilapia fish, uh, real nice and meaty. Now this is just breadcrumbs, flat leaf parsley, and a little bit of Parmesan. I've just put that in the food processor just so it's got a nice consistency through it. That's just gonna sit on top of the fish after I've lightly pan fried. The potatoes I am gonna use is some beautiful baby new potatoes. My rosemary baked potato, I've got a very special ingredient. I've actually rendered down my own Wagyu fat. I've previously used a little bit of brisket and I've used some of the fat from there and I've rendered it down for several hours. So that just kind of gives me a nice kind of meaty flavor through my potatoes, which is gonna work really, really nice with our fish. Just cut our baby potato into four or five even pieces. Okay, fat in. So you want your pan on a medium to high heat. For our rosemary, no need to do anything special with it. We're just gonna hold it from the top, pull it down, straight into the pan. That's enough to just infuse through the fat and infuse and give that potato a little bit of extra flavor. So we just have a little pinch of salt in here. Okay, so that's been cooking now for around two to three minutes. We're just gonna flip that over. Should have a nice caramelization on there. And then we're just gonna finish it in the oven for eight to nine minutes. Okay, for our cream veggies, we're just gonna roughly cut and wash our zucchini and our leeks, saute that off, and we'll just make a nice, simple white wine cream sauce. So for the leeks, I'm just going to cut in half and in half again. Now this will actually make it a lot easier for me to be able to wash the leeks, make sure that we get rid of all the soil that's bedded in the between the leeks. And for the courgette, I'm just gonna cut on the angle about five or six slices. With a nice hot pan, got a teaspoon of olive oil, leeks in, courgette in. And a pinch of salt, and a little pan of black pepper. Just gonna saute that up for two to three minutes. So wine in. Be around another two to three minutes just to make sure that we cook the alcohol right out. Just smell that sweetness coming through the wine. So I'm just gonna put the juice of half a lemon in and 150 ml of cream. We're just gonna bring that to the boil. Let it simmer for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes just until all the veg is really bind together with that nice cream sauce. So that's reduced down now. It's got a real nice thick consistency. It's really bind over my courgettes. So now we can plate that up and move on to our fish. About a teaspoon of olive oil. This would be where the skin was. So we always do skin side down when we're cooking in the restaurant. Little pinch of salt. We're just gonna get a nice little seal on the bottom of that fish. Put our crumb on. We just want a nice, generous topping. Completely coat all of the fish. So we're going to bake that eight to ten minutes. So our fish has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. So let's get out of the oven, see how it is. We're just gonna sit that on top of our veg. And when I plated the veg, I just left a little bit of the side, just for me to garnish around the side of the plate. And there you have it. My take on tilapia fillets, 
Parmesan crumb, baked potatoes. Not quite how mum used to make it. Hopefully it'll be just as nice. Thank you.